Hey y'all, Ramdino here, coming at you again for another Appalachian Trail community news and through hiker update. If you've found this channel and you want to support the Appalachian Trail through hikers, help me build the hiker community, you have come to the right spot to do that. The best way you can do that is subscribe, leave a comment if you like, but share this channel with like-minded people in the hiker community who you think would be very interested in this. We want to grow this uh, hiker community, grow the support around the through hikers, and we try to do that every year. Also, today is June 6th. If you don't know what June 6th is or don't remember it, let me remind you, this is D-Day. This is the day when America landed on the shores of France and changed the tide of World War II. And if it wasn't for those people that came before us, those people that sacrificed out there, then right now we would probably be speaking German. Just wanted to recognize the sacrifices that those folks that went before us have made. Not too many of those World War II veterans out there are left. But if there's any out there watching this, thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for everything that you've done to make this country free. Now, let's go on and talk about what you came here to see. So, let's talk about the thu hikers out there. So, she's the one. She is back on trail after breaking her arm, having a wrist injury and an ankle injury all in the same fall. So, she didn't have to have surgery. She didn't have to have rehab. She has successfully done that. She's back on the trail, and she is somewhere around north of Eckville, Pennsylvania. She says there's somewhere around 12 hikers in her area. And then Huck has made it through the Triple Crown and is north of Delville, and he is loving his hike. And Huck is one of these people that he is the epitome of what a hiker looks like when they are just full of joy from being on the Appalachian Trail and enjoying that hike. So I wanted to read a quote that Huck sent me and uh, he gave me permission to do this. Thanks for that, Huck. And Huck said that yesterday was a dream come true when he made it up to McAfee Knob and sat on that amazing rock. Just took it all in for a while. The outstanding view, the incredible journey to this point, and the beautiful people that I've met along the way. Everything just kind of swirled and danced around in my soul up there and left me speechless. More trail in front of me, Colin, so I gladly answer and hike on today. Happy, healthy, and eager for more. That is such an awesome attitude. Huck has been through the same thing that every other hiker has been through out there. Cold, wet, cold and wet, hot, lack of water, hungry, bugs, all that neat stuff. Yet he is taking, squeezing everything that he can out of the Appalachian Trail. So... That's a perfect example of how we all should be when out there hiking. And Huck, I just appreciate you sharing that with me. And folks, if you're a hiker, through hiker out there, and you want to share something with me like that, I'll be glad to post that. A video works great as well, although I can't show tons of videos, but I'll be glad to show uh, a select few. And then Shoes, who's our barefoot hiker, he had to get off. He had kicked one too many rocks with his bare toes but uh, had had a little bit of an injury but he is getting back on uh, sometime here real soon at mile 657. Country Boy is around the Waynesboro area and he's hiking with Gourmet and Triple T. Country Boy uh, also met up with some old trail friends that he had met early on the trail Highlander and Milady, and it just so happens that Milady is seven weeks pregnant so milady has been on the trail longer than seven weeks so she is proof that conception can happen on the Appalachian Trail so looking forward to seeing how that progressed as they move up the trail Highlander has taken a lot of the weight off of her even though she's only seven weeks uh, and I say only seven weeks I have no idea what that's like for you women out there so in any case, don't hold that against me, but in any case, they are doing a uh, few less miles, and I'm sure uh, they will adjust accordingly to keep that little one inside of her happy uh, and healthy as they go up there. So, big congratulations. Goob has passed the quarter way mark and says that there's definitely a through hiker bubble has spread a little thin in his area. He says there's about 10 to 20 uh, hikers behind him, and then there's about 10 to 20 in front of him. And that's kind of what the hiker bubble kind of shows that to be true as well, that, that micro bubbles kind of form and as people get spread out and everything. And then, so that doesn't surprise me. Sev is climbing Mount Greylock and closing in on finishing another stake, getting ready to pass into Vermont where he'll be hitting the long trail 
which shares the treadway with the Appalachian Trail for the next 100 miles or so in Vermont. Mr. Freeze is in Wrangley, Maine with less than three weeks to go. He said Mahusik Notch was a blast and he wanted to give an update on the White Mountains. He talked to a crew leader from there and he indicated the crew leader told him that their hires have told them that there will be no work for stay this year at all. So do not count on having work for stay at all this year on any of the huts in the White Mountains. Show is in Waynesboro and just getting ready to start the shanties. His girlfriend came out with him to hike a few miles with him and hike through the park, so he's looking forward to that. And he also says that he thinks he's in between bubbles. So he said he hiked from mile 817 to 864 and only saw four through hikers, one of which was a Sobo. Cryptic is past Crawford Notch. Expat has made it past the 900 mile mark. Just a farmer, he's back on trail this week from doing what just a farmer does, and that's farming. And he has started his uh, flip flop in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Pittsburgh Beer started his no bow and should be in Neil's Gap. Obviously, it's really late in the season to be starting a pure no bow. We'll see how he progresses. Justice is around Parisburg and says a shuttle driver in Marion who goes by Thrasher is awesome and is given free shuttles from the partnership shelter into Marion. Runway is done with Maryland and she has crossed over into Roxylvania. Tunis is north of Parisburg and so is Hibbilly. He's north of Parisburg. Buttercup just finished another state, New Jersey, and has completed 400 miles. Captain America, he is in Cheshire and he is hiking with Rapture and Grumpy Cat. Crusoe has made it to Front Royal. Luscious is around the Parisburg and hiking with Walmart. Expat is past the 900 mile mark. Sugar has hit Harper's Ferry and along with Bowie, they did the four state challenge, which is a challenge you do where you try to hike in a portion or all, depending on the length of the state, of four states in 24 hours. So typically uh, the only way you can do that is start in Virginia, hike in West Virginia, which is very quick, only about four miles there, hike through Maryland, and then get into Pennsylvania. So they completed that, and congratulations to them for being able to do that. Mike and Kathy, they are in New Jersey. Not so much. He has passed the Pinkham Notch on the Rattle River Hostel with under 300 miles to go. Aquaman, he has made it to Front Royal. Roadrunner is past the halfway point and into Duncannon. Congrats. Skidmark is near Rockfish Gap with Munch and AARP. And they asked folks to leave comments on gut hooks about the water conditions. They are looking at those as are a lot of people look at those. I look at those when I'm out section hiking uh, to check out what's going on with the water and kind of plan our water carries and maybe even plan where we're going to stop to the night. So uh, I encourage you to make those comments in Good Hooks if you're using Good Hooks. The Vintage Hikers, they did over 19 miles from Eckville Shelter through the night and said that they are around Palmerton. Beat is in Massachusetts and should be in Vermont in just a couple days. Spun Candy has made it to Harper's Ferry and on her flip-flop and she has lost 30 pounds on the Appalachian Trail diet. Congratulations to her. That is awesome. And she also picked up her hiker tag there at Harper's Ferry and she says she wondered what color they were and they are purple this year. Punisher and Bobbitt, who are on the Eastern Continental Trail, which also shares the treadway with the Appalachian Trail and starts in Key West and goes to Katahdin and beyond, they are almost to Rutland. Papa Groot, he has made it to Glasgow, which means he is past a third of the way done, and Mad Rat and Mohawk Wheel, they have made it to Damascus. So congratulations to all those folks. Every one of those folks checked in, sent me their update. Thank you very much for doing that. If you want to be included on the update and you're a through hiker, send that to me on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday is the best time. Although if you catch me early enough on Sunday before this actually goes to film or video rather, then I will uh, be glad to include you. But Thursday, Friday, and Saturday works best for me. A couple folks that are off the trail. Tex is back in Texas. She is taking a vacation from her vacation on the Appalachian Trail, but she is no injuries or anything. She is going to be getting back on the trail here shortly. Cephas has made it to Delville, Virginia, and has decided to in, to conclude his hike due to an old foot injury. 
He had taken some cortisone shots, hoping that that was going to take care of it, but it didn't. And so he is going to have to have that corrected. And once he does, then he'll either come back and finish his through hike if he has enough time, or he'll finish it, the trail, in sections. Ewok is also off for good for a lot of reasons. Missing families, the temps were starting to get to them. Uh, the lack of water in Pennsylvania due to the ATC pulling water caches and also the ATC removing pumps at shelters was just, uh, and that wasn't the only reason, but that was part of the reasons. And so that was just uh, getting to be too much for uh, Cephas and so, or Ewok rather. And so they are getting off trail. And also Grateful had to get off due to an injury. So we had our first summit of the year, and that is Buzz and Woody. They are doing the calendar year Triple Crown. So they started, I believe, in January, did as much as they could until they were post-holing up north, switched over to the CDT, uh, went and did a portion of the southern section until the snow got gone here, came back over to the AT, finished the AT, summited this past week on the very day that the AT opened up. And I asked them how they timed that because nobody knows when it's going to open. And they said that was just serendipity that it happened that way, that they didn't have to wait around for it to open. And now they are back out on the PCT. So once they do the PCT, then they'll come back and finish up the CDT to complete their calendar year triple crown. Then a couple of trail angels that I want to give a shout out to, Dave and Bonnie. They've been putting out some cold drinks and snacks for folks around the New York, Connecticut border up there. It's getting so hot. So that's somewhere around mile 1456. And they're also doing the same at the Lion's Head Trailhead that is mile 1500. So thanks a lot to those, tra those trail angels and all those trail angels out there that help the through hikers and the section hikers and just everybody in general that they are out there on the trail. There's tons of you and I greatly appreciate what you do for the hikers. So a little bit of trail news out there. So we've had some bear issues that have actually shut down a section of the trail to not to through hiking or hiking in general, but to camping. And that is down in Tennessee and the Cherokee National Forest Service has shut that down between Double Springs Shelter and the intersection with Backbone Rockside Trail. So that's miles 451 to 464. Apparently there's been some bears that have been coming into camp, uh, taking food, coming into shelters, and the only thing that causes that is people not storing their food properly, people sleeping with it in shelters, things of that nature. And so that's what's happened there. So to keep prevent from that occurring, somebody getting attacked, the bears having to be euthanized. They have shut down the trail until those bears get back habituated to where they don't associate those shelters in there with food. And so, but through hiking is still allowed from there. So don't worry about that. So, but that has been, and that is just south of Damascus uh, and north of Watauga Lake. So around the Shady Valley area, the Shady Valley area is where the barn is on the Appalachia Trail with the giant AT symbol. So that area through there is closed to overnight hiking or rather overnight uh, camping at the shelters and just camping even at stealth spots in general. And then Whispers via Cryptic up in uh, White Mountains, he said most of the huts were open now. Uh, they were open for water and bathrooms, but they did not necessarily have food. And most people don't buy food there anyway because it's so expensive. He also said that the snow still persists in places up north, but it's now just more of a monorail down the center of the trail, and that's easily avoidable. And he wanted to give a big shout out, let everybody know that Rusty's Hard Time Holla down in Virginia is open again in 2021. It had been closed in 2020. In 2019, was Rusty was thinking about having that be his last year, so he put it on the market. Apparently, he didn't sell it, and so he's opened it back up in 2021. He's opened, that's in Virginia. Whispers indicated that he stayed there during his flashes in 2003 and 2006, and it's just a very special place there. One of the original Appalachian Trail hostels, so uh, he just recommended people give Rusty a shout out and, and check that place out. And Aquaman has also left several videos for that this past week. So go and check out his videos on his channel. Folks, that's all I got this week. Once again, thanks for all the folks that sacrificed so much for us on D-Day so that we could truly be free 
be free not only in the country, but to hike the Appalachian Trail. That's all I got this week, folks. As always, appreciate you, and we'll see you out there.